let's apply inverse functions to some real life word problems. We have the function capital F of X that converts temperature in degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit. So what does the input and output variable represent? So we're plugging in degrees Celsius and we're getting out degrees Fahrenheit. So that input X, we want to be able to plug in degrees Celsius and then get out that capital F, which is also the Y value in degrees Fahrenheit. So tell me what the temperature is in Celsius. I'm going to take it and multiply it by 9 fifths and add 32 and I'll be able to tell what the degrees Fahrenheit would be. So 32 plus 9 fifths X converts from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Well, what if we find the opposite of that? If we find the inverse function, we want to figure out what would happen to those variables. Our input and output would switch, right? Our X's and Y's would switch. So instead of plugging in Celsius and getting out Fahrenheit, we would plug in degrees Fahrenheit and get out degrees Celsius. So we'd go the other way around. Instead of Celsius to Fahrenheit, we're going to go from Fahrenheit to Celsius. So let's find that inverse function. So we can take any degree Fahrenheit and convert it to degree Celsius. So first step, I'm going to call it y equals 32 plus 9 fifth x. Then I'm going to switch the x and the y so that I can solve for y. So 32 plus 9 over 5 times y. I'm going to then subtract 32 from both sides. So I'm going to have x minus 32 equals 9 fifths y. And I want to get rid of 9 over 5. If I wanted to get rid of 1 fourth, I'd multiply by 4. If I want to get rid of 1 fifth, I'd multiply by 5. If I want to get rid of 6 in the denominator, I'm going to multiply by 6 in the top. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to switch and multiply by 5 over 9. If we switch our numerator and denominator, those 9s are going to cancel and those 5s are going to cancel. So 9 fifths times 5 ninths just gives me 1y equals 5 ninths of x minus 32. And lastly, I need to call this the inverse function, which is 5 ninths times x minus 32 in parentheses. So this is my inverse function. I can go from Celsius to Fahrenheit. And we, want, we already figured out the input is now Fahrenheit. The output is Celsius, and we want to plug in this F inverse of 100. The other thing we're asked for, so plugging in 100 into this, I would have 5 ninths of 100 minus 32. So I have 5 ninths, 100 minus 32 would give me... 68 and so I'm getting about 37.7 about 38 as my output what does this mean this means 100 degrees Fahrenheit is about 38 degrees Celsius we're plugging in Fahrenheit, we plugged in 100 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's around 37.7, about 38 degrees Celsius.